Hey, dickhead. <laughs> Singer says what? <laughs> I'm in an abusive relationship. That's an emotional Says abuse. the guy who just threw you can put that in the video. No, you can't. <laughs> it's too inappropriate. We're going to Home Depot right now. We're right. going to look at flooring. And then we're going to pick up some stuff to make an overhead camera rig. Because the one you had before was just a temporary one. It's a tripod with a sidearm thing. We will talk about that later. Okay. Shall we go? We shall. You know my nose has been wheezing for three months? Can you look? Three weeks, sorry. Three yeah, weeks. Let me, let me, let's hear it. <laughs> can you, can you hear that? Can you see it? <laughs> I'm trying to look up. I the... took, I took a Q-tip. Yeah. And tried to scrape out my entire nasal cavity. Ew. I'm pretty sure I hit my superior, middle, and inferior nasal turbinates. I don't know what that is. Look it up. Like your brain? Like your brain? No. <laughs> you hate me so, so much. You go through your sphenoid sinuses. Okay. Anyway. Then you would go to the brain. Okay, Home Depot. Let's go. What's the size of the room? I don't know. How long does the tube need to be? I don't know. It's been a while. Well, I can tell you one thing. None of these are long enough. How do you know? You didn't measure it. <laughs> Is it big enough? I didn't measure. Oh yeah, that's right. Somebody didn't measure. God damn it. Back to the car. Oh God, it's been so long since we've done any DIY project. Who forgets to measure? Me. You! That's you. It was you, Toretto! <laughs> Such a noob. That's what you get for not measuring. Shame. <laughs> Shame. You didn't think about it either, man. Shame. I actually did think about it. I was then like, why no, did you say something? I, I actually did think about it, I, but I thought, oh no, she's obviously measured this and knows what size it is, so she's got this project planned out. Listen, don't ever assume because you know what happens? Makes an ass out of you and me. Uh, I think you just made an ass out of you and me. <laughs> yeah, I did. It's okay, honey. Better luck next time. We get to spend quality time together. You're right. East. Cool, what way is east? Round two. So you got, you've got the measurement now? Yeah, eight feet. Did you bring the uh, friction attachment? Yes. Okay. I just don't want it to look cheap, you know? Yeah, me too. Uh, and it's got to be sturdy, so it's got to pass the Christian up test. i got to be able to suspend myself from it. Back at the HD. That might be all right. Yeah, it's secured. Do you think silver against a white wall is would look better than black? Uh, black would reflect less. Smart. All right, let's do that. So what we were thinking was use all pipe fasteners. I think using the pipes would be less effort and look better. Okay, I'm yeah, do that let's then. just do that. We're back from Home Depot, and we were literally there for like, oh, this needs to be tightened. We were there for like two hours, and then we went to Lowe's, and anyway. So we got the things to make the overhead rig, but first, we need what's in this box in order to mount the camera and the mic to the ceiling. All right. Oh, this is a lot smaller than I thought. We'll see if this works. So this is gonna basically mount to the ceiling rig and I will be able to go back and forth between over this table and over the couch. Now it's probably gonna be mostly used over this table, but I'll be able to mount mics and whatever we want to this. I can mount the camera to this, but it would be much easier to use like this because I'm only using the RX100. It might be a little sketchy. We're gonna try it out. This channel's all about experimenting. This feels very dirty for some reason. Coming in for, I don't know. His legs are broken. That's why I'm taking this apart. That could work. The crappiest thing about this little RX100 is that anytime there's anything on the bottom of it, you can't get the battery door open. So this is hanging up here, and this can just kind of go like this, and then this guy can kind of just do this. I can really mount my mic. Mount my mic in here. This is just a lighting support, professional lighting support from Manfrotto. I ordered it on Amazon, I can leave the link link in the description. I think I'm gonna make a blog post or a kit page for this entire studio. Stay tuned for that. All right, so we're gonna go put the rig together. We're gonna attach it. And then hopefully this rig works. Oh my God. Chris tinkers 
in the basement for a few minutes. I wanna talk a little bit about what I was using before we built the overhead rigs. So just before we moved, Promaster sent me their new modular tripod. Now, Promaster has been a supporter of this channel since Vancouver. They have been kind enough to send us camera bags and tripods to give away on the Pixel Lens Group. Thank you, Promaster, for being deadly. This is what I was using before we built the overhead rig. Fortunately, it wasn't quite high enough for the desktop that I was shooting on, which is why we built the overhead rig. And also, I wanted to get tripods up off the floor. Uh, the room is really small, so I wanted to free up as much space as possible so I don't get rage blackouts while I'm in there filming. At its full height, it's a little bit unsturdy, I think for a larger camera, but I think for a mirrorless camera, it would work fine. So obviously you can use it as like its own tripod. They also sent me like all of these accessories that this comes with, but the one accessory I was the most interested in is this. This comes out. And so basically this is what I was using before. This is like a mustache, adjust. I think this is gonna be my new travel tripod. I thought this was a kind of a cool tripod, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. Yeah. Something like this would work really well for a home studio, for a temporary home studio. Um, obviously you don't necessarily have to get this one. I'm not trying to sell you on this at, at all. But I wanted to show you guys what I was using previously and that there are options out there so we're about to set up our overhead rig using some pipes from the hardware store that you kind of screw together. So we're using kind of like two long bars and they're gonna attach to the ceiling in three different spots, so on either end and in the center so it doesn't flex. And uh, we're gonna check it out and see how it works. So let's do that. And you're coming with me. I feel like we have a how-to channel or something here. Step one, acquire the pipes. Today on BMC's Cooking Extraordinaire. Basically. Move over a little bit. So basically what we're doing, that's very loud. We're building this overhead rig out of these pipes. Literally requires you to do nothing, I just spit over my face, do nothing but screw these together and then attach them to your ceiling, making sure that when you screw this to the ceiling, you're in a stud. That's basically it. This part is a DIY, but we ordered the Manfrotto friction arm and the impact grip. A lot of the ones that we saw online, they were pretty elaborate. Multiple tracks and I don't know, this is pretty basic. All we need is something to grip the friction arm to. And I never really thought about this until I was watching Is and Johnny Harris's studio tour and they had this like massive overhead rig that kind of like slid back and forth in their studio. If you guys want to check out their studio tour, I loved it. I will link it right here. Shout out to those guys that are amazing. So we've got three of these. Three flanges, three nipples, three elbow joints. And one micro, I don't know, because you said nipples and you said flange. <laughs> flange and nipples. Okay, and we got two four foot guys. So we're just gonna take the ends off, screw this shit together, and then we're gonna mount it to the ceiling, and go. hopefully it works. This is not DIY. <laughs> no, this is just like, buy the pre appropriate size and screw it together. Yeah. Ew, so dirty. Filthy. She's really greasy. So what you should do if you're doing this at home is, Put these things in the bathtub with soap. You should use like palm olive, like some kind of degreasing soap. All right, ready to mount it? It passed the Chris chin up test. Okay, moment of truth. Here's our overhead rig. Manfrotto friction arm, impact clamp, and this Joby ball head that I had. By the way, if you're doing like a heavier duty camera, something that's heavier, I would definitely not use this. So the friction arm works, so I can kind of go back and forth. I can do this, this, tighten it up. And if I want to move it over there, I'll just untighten this and move it with the step stool. Does it hang down far enough? Yeah, I think so. I only had the A7S II and the RX100 as cameras. So here's the real moment of truth. So let's put it in and hope to God that... Oh, shit. Cool. Oh, just clip right in. And I got this ball head so I can kind of straighten it versus having to like undo all of the friction stuff. Oh my God, that works deadly. I got way too excited. Let's record. Does the field view okay? The field view is great. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> you're, okay. gonna, you're gonna be like staring up at the up overhead rig the whole time. Well, if I'm ever cutting to it, I'll be like able to like do it. Yeah, it's great. And then I can like zoom in if I have to. Not bad. Look how many tripods are clear of this room right now. I'm not gonna show you because we're gonna show you the room later on. So that's it. So there's the overhead rig. I love it. <laughs> Oh, damn. Wait, you're on a knife. My greasy hands. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you know if I we post new videos. We will see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs> I missed <it. laughs>
Okay, so I just filmed my first video in here, which I'll link up here. I had to rig up the mic. So this is like the final setup overhead rig mic. It's so, there's so many, it's like Frankenstein together. Let me show you. This is sick now because I have literally, I have no cable arms or anything. So I've got the DIY poles with the impact clamp with the friction arm attached. I put like a little leash on it just in case. Then this camera attachment with another arm for the mic. So then I've got the Gorilla Pod head with the, the RX100 attached. This little arm is kind of between the entire rig. And then I've got the mic mounted to that. It's like one of them aliens. <gasps> Hello, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're like looking at this knife. 